So yeah, it, it kind of has like an important aspect to it that's heavier than what is normally meant. So if I were to say this desk is ugly, guys, if I were to say this desk was ugly versus this desk is hideous, that has a heavier meaning, right? I'm disgusted by this desk. It's not just unappealing. I'm disgusted. I don't even want to be around this desk. It is hideous. So when we think about this poem, think about words that have a really heavy meaning to them. That means just more than ugly, but rather hideous, okay? So let me go ahead and put that on the, oh, you did, thank you. So find words and phrases that send a particular message. So it could be a message or invoke a certain feeling or reaction. So again, we had a very, it could be a word, a very, uh, whole sentence. Right. Now look, look for words that, that, that really say more than just the word. They, they actually so let me they give this. you some sort of feeling. Guys, I'm waiting for all attention again. All attention means phones down, eyes on me. Come on. I still don't have all eyes. This, watch, I'll wait. look up here. Come on. I have probably about 50% right now, and I need 100%. Eyes on me. All eyes on me. feeling or message that is. Okay, so make sure that you not only just quote it, but you explain it too, and you use textual cues and, and context for it. All right, so don't, don't mess up on that one, because a lot of you guys forget to do the second half of that. We're just right here right now, so try not to go ahead anymore because you're going to be answering these incorrectly if I say something and it might not be what you, what you thought it meant, okay? So let's just work on connotation. We'll get there, okay? Okay, guys, five down. And again, I'll wait for all attention. And again, all attention means eyes on me. And I'm not talking unless you're talking to Ms. Farrar. So I don't have that over here. I don't have that back here. I don't have that over here. Okay, what type of words did we pull out? Over here. That's for your group. Heathen. Yeah, good job. And what was that a message or a feeling that, that you put that for? I feel like, I mean, I a message, right. And what is that message that's being said there? Basically, like, they're. You're not human. Yeah. You're not human. Like, you have no right to attack. Right. Right. Which word that was? Heathen. Heathen. And when we say heathen, we mean like uncivilized, beast like, no no civilization or manners of what whatsoever. So they're they're dehumanizing them when, when we use that word heathen. Over here, guys. Doesn't heathen mean that you believe in the word? Mm, some people say it, that is. If you believe in more than one God, you don't ascribe to the Christian religion, which then means you're uncivilized, and, and that's how we used to look at it. Barbaric. Right, barbaric and things like that. So, yeah. 